So here the Linaro Connect and the, who are you? I am Marcelo Zufo. I am a professor from Sao Paulo University, Brazil. So um, what are you talking about here, the Linaro Connect? Well, um, my topic is embedded computing. So I do teaching on embedded computing. I do research and also I promote innovation in my country on embedded computing. So, um, you in Sao Paulo? Yeah, I'm down in Sao Paulo, Brazil, the financial capital of Brazil, a very active city with a very strong industry in electronics there. And uh, how many students do you work with? Well, uh, at the electronic systems department, we have uh, 40 students per year studying several degrees of embedded systems. Particularly last year, we have wonderful uh, workshops at Linaro about how to design drones from scratch using the 9-6 boards. And I'm replicating these experiments at my classrooms in Brazil. Uh, so, and uh, you, you also have a, a, a SMT, PCB design, lots of different things? Yeah. Um, one of our major projects is to design from scratch drones with the 9-6 board platforms. Uh, it's a wonderful experience because we can embed but virtually any software on this. So it's very interesting embedding artificial intelligence and computer vision techniques on such drones. And that is what we do for education. We have drones, we are at this moment looking how to swarm them. And the 9-6 boards are the ideal platforms to such kind of activity. In parallel to that, we have a SMT line there, and we are successfully uh, manufacturing some shield boards and some single board computers. And uh, this, uh, all this is on open source software? Yeah, that is the beauty of Linaru, is this wonderful community on open source. And I do believe that is the future of the IoT industry. And uh, uh, your students and uh, the people that you work with have uh, great skills in that kind of space, doing yeah. stuff in the open source? Some of these students are going to key uh, companies in market on the automotive sector, in the aerospace sector too. Brazil is quite strong on the aerospace. We have the third biggest aircraft company located there. And there are a range of applications for IoT on agro, mining, and weather. Weather? Environment. Environment stuff? Yes. And uh, um, so, so you, what kind of drones are you working with? Well, uh, our idea is to work with what we call intelligent drones or autonomous drones. Drones that human doesn't touch and they do everything for you. For this particular class of drones, we need a lot of artificial intelligence. And we need to do this artificial intelligence inside the drone, what we, we say, edge of the drone. So that is why, ideally, the 9-6 boards are a good platform for that. Because they basically are full computers with enough run and processors and storage to run complex artificial intelligence algorithms inside it. And maybe there are some new boards that will come out with new processors with more and more AI, and so you're working on the AI algorithms and all that stuff? Yeah, uh, we had started with, I mean, we had played with virtually all 96 boards. In our drone, we have used it before the high keys, the bubble guns, and the um, snap dragons. More recently, we start to play with the Ultra 96 boards that have a tremendous potential because they have a very strong Zynix FPGA, FPGA inside it. And that is quite relevant to optimize neural networking, artificial intelligence based algorithms in such kind of platform. And uh, 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 you have uh, experience with doing stuff with the FPGA also, right? Some students have done some projects. Oh, yeah. With support from Linaro, 
we are successfully also designing open GPUs. So we have a project down there where using 96 boards, we are designing from scratch a GPU that is getting complex and complex time to time. And we hope on a near future synthesizing the GPU on ASICs based on 96 board technology. Uh, so synthesizing complex algorithms from FPGA to an ASIC, how, uh, is it some, how complicated is that? Is that the high-end uh, 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 knowledge in this space also? That is, that is the beauty of Linaru. We have here in this conference a perfect integration between hardware and software, what we call the continuum between hardware and software. So we have engineers here designing state-of-art embedded computing, but at the same time, engineers designing the whole software pipeline. So that's a continuous, continuum. And this continuum is going further uh, in terms of microelectronics. When we start to play with FPGAs, uh, we are approaching the very low level hardware in such platforms. And that is also about Linaro. So in the several degrees of the technology stack, microelectronics, embedded systems, and software, uh, we as a community on an open source fashion are approaching this in this conference. And one of the things I heard from uh, John Maddog Hall is a lot of talking about uh, uh, optimization of the multi-core processors using the performance, getting most performance possible, right? And uh, you, you're working a lot on that because if you have this amazing uh, 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 96 board, high performance board, you want to use all the performance there, right? Some, something that very few people pay attention, particularly on ARM technology, is this low energy footprint. Um, something that is intrinsic to the 96 boards, they offer high performance computing with a very low power footprint. That is a, ideal for autonomous vehicles where energy constraints is a requisite. So that is the case of drones. We successfully are using the 96 boards in drones because we forget to talk about that. We have multi-cores, we have multi-threading. In fact, we have parallel processing offering an um, incredible high performance with low power footprints. Usually when we say low power, footprint is lower than two watt that are quite relevant to enhance the autonomy of such autonomous flying vehicles. But so then to take advantage of that, you need to be able to to program the software is so perfectly and optimize and 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 do new new uh, reoptimization all the time to get even more out of it with even less power. Well, that is the Linaro community. I mean, at this conference we have experts on software optimization, compiling, uh, security, and connectivity. So all these three elements: general purpose, high performance computing sensors and actuators and connectivity are the foundations of what we call modern IoT. And all these relevant aspects could be found out in such conference everywhere. And what is the relationship you have with the John Maddock Hall? Well, John is a very long uh, activist on open source, as I am in my country. So John pushed me to this conference. And it, what is really cool on Linaro is this continuum between industry and the open source community. So the guys at this conference are fully based on open source, but doing a very deep technology for the foundations of modern industry. Nice, and uh, he's right now, he's uh, in Sao Paulo? Oh yeah, uh, that is a very interesting thing. This, this week is the engineering student week in Brazil. So at our university, we have around 1,500 students 
attending. And they invited John Madog to be the keynote this time. So John, unfortunately, could not be uh, two places at the same time. So it was really interesting because John is in Brazil being a keynote in this conference. In fact, exactly this moment, he's running a number of workshops in open source embedded computing, and I'm here attending Linaro. Nice, and uh, you are networking with uh, all the people around here, some interesting things that could happen? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, all the time we can see the enhancement of the Linaro ecosystem. So it's amazing. Uh, the 96 board is an infinite source of innovation. Every time that I came to this conference, a bigger number of 96 boards show up, a bigger number of mezzanine boards are showing up, and every day these boards are more interesting. New processors with the amazing uh, capacity of processing. We just see today the first ARM service with more than 24 cores, the social next technology. An incredible amount of new mezzanine boards, mezzanine boards with LoRa, Sigfox, LTE, an incredible precise uh, sensors and actuators. So that is Linaro. It's a continuous growing cooperative community. So did you have some conversations with uh, Shiratech or with the uh, uh, Silinx? Everyone. Marvel. We always go there and we have more information to 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 have. So Shiratech, Zynix, Aro, um, Marvel, Social Next are key technology providers on the IoT workspace. And it's very nice because all key engineers are here and you go, you go how deeper do you wish in the technical discussions and you bring that home and you'll be ready to deploy real solutions to society based in the information that you get. Do you think there's a potential that several of your students will uh, come work at Linaro companies or at Linaro? Well, um, Linaro is still not strong in the region where I live, but the embedded computing industry it is. So what we see is that the ARM ecosystem is growing dramatically because the IoT revolution. And I can see a value to my students because what they learn from the technical point of view in such conferences could be immediately applicable on real industry. And real industry means the agro industry, the automotive industry, the mining industry, and the aerospace industry. And uh, hopefully all the politicians uh, are going to understand this and say, huge priority, let's do something big with robotics, <coughs> uh, with drones, all that in Brazil. Well, that is, that is interesting humanity now. Robotics <coughs> became something has a major trend everywhere. You walk here around Vancouver on toy shops and you see robot toys everywhere. And we're pretty sure that Linaro technology are inside these devices.